Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make uh, the Diamond Assault Rifle Ammo. We're going to make the Rover, the Ground Assault Vehicle, and we'll even make the Hover Bike. So, um, let's see here. We have some uh, plants to harvest in here, so let's grab these really quick. Um, this, uh, I, I have found that one biodome is more than enough for a single player in terms of, you know, growing crops in this game. I, I mean, I've got carrots and potatoes coming out my ears, man. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you're, if you're playing a single player game, you do not need more than one biodome. Uh, per, well, per base or planet or whatever. Okay, so let's put this stuff in here. Um, yeah, see, I've got, um, that's how many carrots and potatoes I have. Uh, so we have lots, lots and lots and lots. All right, let's see here. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the diamond ammo. So unfortunately, we can't make the other stuff in here that I wanted to make. I wanted to try the cobalt weapons, but you need cobalt to try the cobalt weapons. And we never found it after hours and hours of in real life hours, on, mind you, <laughs> searching for it on Aziel and uh, Lutari. Uh, we can't make the crow rifle because we never found any tungsten. Now, we did find obsidian and nickel, but we didn't find tungsten. So that's not going to happen either unfortunately um and so yeah there's not really anything else in here that uh i want to make but uh, there are like i said a couple more vehicles uh that we can make so let's go ahead and take a look at those oh and the diamond ammo as well so for the diamond ammo let's see that's going to be the d24k assault we just need normal assault magazines which we already have and then diamond uh so because i've got so much diamond why don't we go ahead and convert just our current assault rifle magazines to the badass ones. Um, let's see. Let's look in here. Actually, before we do that, let's let's make sure we can make the the final three vehicles because I know at least the rover requires diamond. Um, I want to make sure you know that I have enough uh, to do. <coughs> excuse me to do that. So um, let's once again uh, turn off bloom. Uh, the game doesn't seem to realize that I don't want it on. All right, and so let's see. We oh, It always kicks you out of this menu, too. So we got the spaceship. We've already made that. Uh, the rover. Okay, so the rover is going to require uh, 10 diamonds. GAV is going to require 5 diamonds. And the hover bike is going to require 5 diamonds. So we just need to make sure that we set aside 20 diamonds uh, when we make this stuff. Okay. Um... All right. Whoops. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here and we have, uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just grab everything except for one full stack of diamonds. I mean, that's more than we need even right there, I think, but I just want to make sure that we don't spend, spend those unnecessarily. Okay, here we go. Um, so yeah, that's going to consume 130 no, that that's how many that's how many I have left. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's how many we took. Anyway, we got we got some left. Um so we have plenty to make the uh, the rover and all that. So I'm going to just keep that in there. While that stuff's cooking up, let's go ahead and grab the things that we need uh for making the um the vehicles. In fact, I'm going to go back out there and, and write all that down cuz I can't remember. So I'll bring you guys back once I've gathered up all the resources to make these things. All right, guys, I think I have everything I need to make the final three vehicles in the game that we need to make. Uh, so let's start. Uh, I'm going to actually start with the, uh, the, the rover because that's the biggest and I'm like super encumbered right now. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a rover. They're T's. They're T's. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to temporarily get in here. Whoa. Oh, it was it was facing the, the wrong direction, so I, I thought their controls were backwards. Okay, we'll, we'll play with that in just a little bit. I just need to get it out of the way. Okay, let's make the ground assault vehicle next. Alright, 
there she is. This thing seems to be pretty spunky. Okay, we'll just park it right there. Uh, oh, I don't have any uh, weapons on my toolbar. That's probably not a good thing. Uh, let's fix that. So, let's see. We want you to be there. You, 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 and you. Okay. And then finally, the hover vessel bike thing. -ba uh, right here. Hover bike. Okay. Nice. So, we got everything made. Let's go grab our diamond ammo for our assault rifle. D24K assault rounds. Look at that. All right, so this prob this has three more normal rounds in it. So let's go blast these bad guys here. Okay, this is the diamond stuff. What level was this guy? It was a level four, so yeah, a little tougher. Uh, one nice thing about the diamond. Uh, cartridges is that they, they actually have 20, 20 shots or well 20 rounds more precisely in them than the 15. How does that work though with a three round burst actually? Hmm, I don't know. You know we kind of need to hit him if we want to actually make this work. Okay, one three-round burst took out the level one crab. These crabs that spawn over here always seem to be level one crabs, interestingly enough. Okay, let's try it out on this guy here. Yep, he did. Okay, cool. Well, knowing how abundant diamonds are on Lutari, I think that... Uh, in my next playthrough, assuming the diamonds are still up there, I'll probably make a spaceship as soon as possible to get up there so we can get the diamonds so we can actually use this ammo instead of just the normal ammo. Um, okay, cool. So let's put this away and let's go check out our vehicles. So I think all three of these vehicles require fuel, from what I understand, and we do have hydrazine. So what I'm going to do is um, let's grab the hydrazine that we have. Uh, I have a tank of it here too. And it looks like one of them has already taken some of it out of there because it was 100% full. Uh, but I have, actually it's in here, yeah. So I got some hydrazine in here. Let's just grab all of that. And it uh, looks like I have a couple things I should put back just to lighten us. Oh, not that. Actually, drop that. No, don't need that crap anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drop all of this, these animal parts. And let me put a couple things away really quick, and then we'll go test out our vehicles. Okay, let's do the um, hover bike first. Okay, so this has full health. Now this thing scooches along pretty good. Uh, one of the things I did in the settings is I have the fuel consumption. Because if you look at my fuel gauge on the right hand side, I mean it's already down like 15%. Just, just going this far. And it would have been even worse than that had I not had it. The other thing I don't like about this is, as you can see, the nose is constantly getting caught on on stuff. Uh, but let's take it out into the sand because this is where we should really be able to, to cruise on it. Graboids don't even have a prayer of catching this because we're way fast. So it's it's kind of fun. Um, they just need to fix it so the nose doesn't get caught and I think all of the vehicles, all of the uh, fuel requiring vehicles, you know, need to be toned down. Now I know we can adjust that in our own settings but I mean, I think even for like the default setting though, it's just ridiculous. So, oh, we got a satellite out here. 
dare we stop to try and loot it? <laughs> so we're, we're at 50% fuel now. Um, just in the, what, two minutes? Uh, two minutes that I've been on this thing, so it's, it's still, it's still ridiculous. Alright, there's a graboid. We should be able to escape him just by strafing. Yep. There's no way you're catching me, pal. Unless I actually run out of fuel. Oh, there's more satellites out here. Hmm. Yeah, this could be a place to come to, to look for that kind of thing. Anything over by the bones? Yeah, it, it's it's fun. It's fun. Pick, fix the nose, less fuel consumption, and I'm a fan. I am a fan. Okay. You know what else would be cool is if it had like um, like if you could press the space bar and give it like a little jump boost kind of thing. Serious dehydration detected. Yeah, pressing the space bar doesn't do anything, so. I, I would venture to say this is probably the fastest vehicle in the game, except for the spaceship itself, which isn't a vehicle. Anyways, it's a vessel. Of course, usually hovercraft are called hover vessels too, so I don't know. <laughs> and we're out of fuel. All right. Oh, we almost made it back to base. I don't think I'm hitting that guy. Uh, all right. I'm not... So we're close enough to the base, I'm not even going to put gas in that because I want to make sure we have gas for these guys. Alright, let's take out the GAV next. Okay. Okay, so this... Whoa. Am I hitting the rock or something? That seemed kind of weak sauce for a level one crab? Uh, was I was I just hitting the rock? Maybe that's what was happening. It's it's spunky. <laughs> Is our other crab friend gonna spawn over here like he usually does? Okay, it doesn't this seems to be its its top speed, so it's not super fast. And it doesn't look like it consumes as much fuel uh, fuel as quickly as the hover vessel either. So that's good. So maybe that issue is really just more with the hover vessel itself. Can we mine with this? Detected. We can. It's, I don't know, man. It seems like, it seems like this thing is really weak. Nutritional balance achieved. The, you know, the firepower on it. Because the crab, the crab mech will just tear through these mineral nodes. Unless I'm not hitting it right. I mean, yeah, I guess it's all right. This is a, we're in an, are we in an enclosed cockpit here? Doesn't look like it actually. Yeah, no, that looks, that looks like that's an open cockpit. It's, it sounds like it's enclosed from when we get inside though. All right, how well does this do on really steep hills? Let's go check that out. Ooh, yep, yeah, it got it. <laughs> it got up the hill. Okay. So I, I would like to see this be a little faster. I mean, it doesn't have to be a freaking race car, but 
seems to me like you should be able to go a little faster than you can. And I think it needs more firepower. I think it's very weak. Uh, comparably in firepower. Is that... Are we doing... Oh, we're doing double shots. Okay. So the crab does have triple shots. Hmm. I don't know. It just seems like the crab's easier to mine with than this. It could just be that I'm not... Uh, you know, used to the way the the turret works on it. Definitely better than the mech, though, because the mech has a really slow rate of fire, whereas this thing, both this and the crab have a fast rate of fire, so that they got those things going for it. And yeah, the fuel consumption on this is much more reasonable. Well, let me put it this way. I think it's more reasonable with the default cut in half. So if I had not done that, then I think this would probably this would consume fuel a little too fast as well. But it's not bad if you cut it in half. Hover vessel. Hey, look, there's our buddy. Hover vessel was still a little too much, even with it cut in half. Are you just stuck here, man? Um, open inventory. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's getting oars, but honestly, not too impressed. And he hasn't put anything in the depository as of yet either from what I've seen okay well let's go home and try out the uh ooh, he can really make it over rocks and stuff can he uh, let's try out the the rover see how that does so I think if we park this near the the fuel tank it just automatically refuels itself can we see that happening here? Yep. Uh, I guess it's done because it just flipped from 80 to 78. Are we are we full now? Yep, we're full. Cool. I kind of like that mechanic. All right, let's go try out the rover. Now the thing about this th that's good is that it has a huge inventory. Um, but. Okay, so it has 24 slots, it looks like. Does it have as much as a spaceship? No, a spaceship has quite a bit larger inventory. Okay. Now, granted, the spaceship's a bit of a pain in the ass to, to land. This thing scooches along pretty good. Can we, we can't change to first person. I, I don't know. It's probably about the same speed as the GAV, I'm thinking. But for, you know, a larger hauling vehicle, this isn't bad. Um, so the thing about the spaceship, you know, is, is that it has a huge amount of storage space. So it's really actually quite good for hauling, but it's just such a pain in the ass to land. You know, and that was part of why it took me yikesers. Um, uh-oh. Can you get it? There you go. Uh, part of why it took me so long, you know, to scan Aziel and, and Lutari is because, I mean, you can't just go someplace and then just land. You know, it's got to go through its whole little, fl you know, fly up in the air, slow down, take forever to land. And, you know, you do that like 30 or 40 times and... It's a huge time sink, so it's just a little frustrating. I, I really wish they would make the spaceship a little easier to use. I, and, you know, I don't even really mind the flight mechanics of it, you know, and using the mouse buttons. It's not that so much that bothers me. It's just that it takes so long to land. <laughs> it's really crazy. And, um, you know, this is supposed to be a hard sci-fi game, I guess. I mean, it does say that in the description. And I'm okay with that, but... You gotta, you know, any game developer, any game that anyone makes, there's, especially if the goal of the game is to be, you know, somewhat realistic, simulate real life, that's fine and good, but that still always has to be balanced with, you know, with fun, with the fun factor. And if you, there's a, there's definitely a place in a game where you can become too realistic and then it, you know, no longer becomes fun. So 
anyway uh, I, you know overall though you guys I enjoyed this game quite a bit it was fun to play it has a lot of potential definitely going to keep my eye on it and um, you know probably will do another series when the next big update comes out as long as I feel like there's enough substantial uh, you know features added to it that it you know it's gonna, it'll be worth going through again um, and just had a lot of fun with it and I, I really hope that the developers can keep going with it and that yeah, our droid stuck and that you know the game will realize its full potential in time so Phoenix Fire, keep going, guys. You guys are doing a good job. Um, you got a lot of work to do, but you're doing a good job. I like what you're doing. And um, turn this game into what we all hope it will become, because it is it is definitely a diamond in the rough at this point, but it is a diamond. Uh, really like the game. All right, you guys. Well, I believe that wraps up our series for uh, Osiris New Dawn. And uh, so thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed everything that we did. Uh, and um, like I said, I'll keep uh, my eyes on uh, the updates. And when the next big update comes out, the tentative plan will be that we'll start a new series on it and uh, see how all the changes work. Okay? That is it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and this series. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. Appreciate it. We just recently hit 2,000 subs on the channel, by the way. So, I really appreciate that. Uh, to all of you who have subbed to the channel and who support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I, I you guys are just awesome. I can't say enough about that. Uh, so thank you very much. Really appreciate it. It's a good, nice little milestone to reach. Um, so with that being said, we'll catch you when we catch you. Bye-bye. <laughs>